So we're gonna do part one of our collection update. And we just wanna show you guys kind of the things that we got going on. Also update you on all the animals that we have. Hopefully you guys saw some of our other videos. You can always look back at them and see where the collection was the last time we did this. And we're gonna start here. I'm just gonna work my way through. We have this female Arroyo, and it's hard to say exactly what she is. Now, I'm gonna be gentle with these guys a little bit. They all kind of ate. Get rid of some of that. So, this was from an Arroyo to a GHI Arroyo. And it's not exactly what we expected it to look like. She was a little tough eater in the beginning, but now she's eating really well. We're not sure that it's a Rio. That's possible. She just looks really strange. It's, it's not GHI, you can tell. And the Arroyo is just really strange. Like it's, we're not seeing the Arroyo, but you know, with two Arroyos that you'd think you'd at least get one. You should. But it's just a really strange looking animal. So we're keeping her and gonna breed her um, hopefully in a year maybe. Maybe more depending on how quickly she grows. She's been growing really quickly lately and doing really well. So we're gonna move on to the next animal now. little goofy maybe <laughs> so this is a super ng female that we have we produced a few of them and uh, this is just a beautiful young lady here you can see the high orange and some people ask how can you tell it's super ng well you can look at the head it's usually a, a big telltale you can see some of the broken uh, banding there right here and how it just connects across the top but doesn't come fully connected also you can tell in the pattern here a bit looks a lot different than just a regular Enchi so she's really pretty we have two of them so I'll quickly show you the second one that we kept because who doesn't need a super Enchi female I mean really you just might as well right so we're gonna put her back Grab her sister here. Whoop. I'm being a little gentle with these guys, like I said, because they ate not too long ago. We always like to be gentle with them. So again, you can see the head, how it does look different than the last one, but has similar ideals. Not ideals as in like political views, but ideals as in like <laughs> the idea of how it's a broken band there that connects uh, don't get shy but she's a beautiful animal both of them really are we really like them and um, if you guys have been watching our videos before you'll know that I really enjoy Enchi and the Enchi gene so it's one of my favorites and so of course we get Enchi in a lot of our stuff next animal is super pastel fire calico hidden gene MoMA so here is a little girl girl yes that it's just really really blown out she's real tense at the moment <laughs> she's really blown out so you can see the super pastel on her head and of course all this blushing is really crazy but then the fire and the calico bring up the sides and blow out some of this dorsal here but then also the Hidden Gene Woma really makes this pattern go crazy. We really enjoy Hidden Gene Woma. I know it's not something that a ton of people have. It is not uncommon out there, but it's something that we really enjoy working with. And it's funny, you don't see a ton of it when you go to shows or around, but uh, really cool, really cool pattern changer. You can just see this dorsal stripe is just so blushed out. It's like somebody took an eraser. Isn't that right? <laughs> She's a beauty. 
Moving on to the next animal, we have a super pastel fire calico hidden jimoma, another one, but looking much different, but still has similar features. So this one is a little less blushed here, so you can see it's not as white, and she was a little feisty. But you can see the hidden jimoma here is still showing really well with the pattern, and she has that really, really white head, and it still looks like an eraser that rolled across her dorsal. But this one just has a little bit more yellow in her, and she's really pretty. The sides of her head look just really, really cool. So again, more jeans that we like working with, hidden jimoma, and super pastel fire calico. Is there hidden jim woman in that? There's hidden jim woman in that. Is there hidden jim? There's hidden jim woman in everything. All right. So moving on to the next animal, we have an arroyo female, and we like the arroyo gene, just like that first girl that I was showing you earlier. But this is a full arroyo. This is exactly what they look like. You can see the the dark banding, but also this golden dorsal stripe here with the elongated stripes here. Also, you'll see. Um, little islands and then you can see these the sides here how they look it's real reduced but get these little flames and you know how things look and I turn this go around here this is a little island there there's things like that that really show that this is a an arroyo and she's really pretty we like the arroyo gene because not a lot of people are working with it and it can make some really cool, fun things. So, really cool animal. And if you have any questions about any of these jeans that we're working with, make sure you comment them below, and we will try to answer you the best we can. All right, moving on. Keep on moving down the line. The next one is a gravel female. So go. Still trying to be gentle. Oh, she's nice and warm too. This is a gravel female. A lot of you guys know that they are your way towards the highway. And she's just a single gene, but she's really cool. We like her. She's our only just plain gravel female that we have. And you can even see some of this dorsal striping here that eventually turns into the highway gene. Cool animal, we should, not exactly sure what we're gonna do with her just yet, but definitely putting yellow belly in there, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. So moving on down to the next animal, we have a pastel Enchi GHI female. She's real feisty, so she's just trying to defend herself. She's not trying to uh, kill anybody or attack anything. But uh, what we do is we touch their heads just a little bit and they get a little bit more calm and kind of scare them a little bit. It's not like it's a bad thing. And then uh, calm down a little bit. These little tiny little snake hooks. So, an Enchi Pastel GHI. You can see the Enchi with the orange and the pastel with the yellow. And then GHI, you can see some of the little pattern differences here. It's a little, they usually will do curly cues, but with the GHI Enchi, really twists the pattern up a lot. So she's really pretty. She's gonna be an awesome animal for us to put into a couple projects. Now you can go either dark or bright with the GHI or the Enchi. And we think that uh, maybe Orange Dream or something else kind of cool in this. Hmm. But she's getting big. So maybe another year or so. It's a fun thing about ball well, pythons is <clears throat> You end up starting a project or you have one that's born and then you wait a year for them <laughs> or two years or sometimes three years or we have one that's 
eight years old that hasn't produced yet for us. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, we have a giveaway going on right now. We're gonna put the link at the end. It's for Lavender Albino Mail. It's awesome. And do it. <laughs> Hit the bell icon, cause you're cool. And I have to look at the camera, and I've been. That's a wrap. <laughs>